are here at IMTS 2024 in the Mazak booth. With us, we have Joe Wilker, the product manager for the Cybertech products at Mazak. And behind us is a brand new machine that they're showcasing here at IMTS. Their HQR three turrets, right? Correct. Tell us a little bit about this machine and why Mazak decided to make the decision to go with a three turret HQR. So the HQR Neo is uh, we'll going to the three turrets because for the people that already have a twin spindle, twin turret machine, if they have balance, unbalanced cycle times between op one and op two, and they want to improve that cycle time because their part volume has gone up drastically, this, this machine is all about speed, rigidity, and output. So it's how fast I can put a part on my desk. So adding two turrets, another turret to it, we can expect at least a 25% improvement part throughput. The other thing that's nice and, uh, that we're demonstrating here is the main spindle is a four inch bar, uh, bar capacity uh, along with 16 stations uh, turrets with 48 tools loaded up on these turrets. Offering faster throughput, you got 10,000 RPMs milling capability on each of uh, the turrets. Each turret has Y travel plus or minus two inches. That's fantastic. And with the speed, pairing automation with this would be awesome. That's way you're just dropping off parts complete. What are the kind of auto automation things that you guys can do to the HQR to even speed it up and add more efficiency to somebody's floor? So with this one has a built-in unloader over the uh, second spindle for unloading the uh, workpiece. We can do it about 15% faster than the previous unloader. And another feature that is not shown on this machine is we have a bar remnant capability on the main spindle. So when we get to the end of the bar, we actually have a catcher that comes in, catches the remnant, and then shoots it into a, uh, a chip chute and brings it outside the machine. And what is the bar capacity on this machine in particular? This particular one has four inch bar capacity. Okay, and any other special features on this machine that you guys are trying to highlight this year? Um, no, I don't think so. No, All what right. about the control? Oh yeah, I, can, I forgot about there the control, I'm sorry. The control is uh, also a uh, advanced control. We've taken uh, with the Mazatrol G3. So the controller uh, actually has uh, the capability of G-code only. There is no Mazatrol on this machine. The reason for that is, is to actually get the, every second out of the machine and uh, position the turrets exactly where we want them day in and day out for each part. Uh, getting the optimum throughput. Awesome, Joe, thanks so much for being with us. Okay. And if you guys have any questions about any of Mazex products, please visit their booth today or reach out to your local distributor and they'll be in touch. Thanks, we'll see you next time.